Hello students, welcome back to the same chapter, A Gift of Chapels. So let us have a recap of what we have studied previously. So we have studied that Mridu with her Tapi went to her aunt's home Rukmani where Ravi, Meena and Lali are three cousins. So uh, Mridu went there, Mridu saw Kitten which was a secret uh, hidden by Ravi and Meena and they used to give her milk hidingly and then what happened uh, they were sitting and then the, the cat was frightened by a screeching sound that screeching sound was coming from the window where Lalli was trying to learn music by a music master she was learning how to play a violin and we have also seen how they were seeing from the window Lalli was learning to play and the music master was described and then let us continue further Squawk, there was Lully derailing again. So again, uh, the every time Lully used to try to play the violin, Ravi used to compare that uh, her music is like train is coming uh, off the track. And whenever the music master is playing, as if the train is running smoothly on the track. Then a sound come, came from the gate. Amma, came a wail from the gate. Amma, oh. So, some kind of beggar had come at the gate and he was wailing. Wailing means shouting with a very high pitch. Ravi sent that beggar away, cried his mother from the back veranda where she was chat chatting with Tapi. He has been coming here every day for the past week. So Rukmani, mother of Ravi, she started saying from the inside only that uh, send that beggar away. Now, Pati is also explaining to Tapi that this beggar has been coming here from past one week and it is time that he should find another house for begging. Mridu and, Milo, um, uh, Mridu and Meena followed Ravi out. The beggar was already in the garden making himself quite at home. He had spread his upper cloth under the neem tree and was leaning against its trunk, apparently prepared to take a little snooze. So, till this time, beggar was also very much tired, so he was trying to relax himself under the neem tree and he was taking a little nap there. He was thinking to let us let me sleep. Now, he was waiting for the amps to appear. Go away, said Ravi sternly. My party says, it's time you found another house to beg from. So, Ravi said that my party says, it's time you found another house to beg from. So the beggar opened his eyes very wide and gazed at each of the children one by one. The ladies of this house, he said at last in a voice choked with feeling. He said very emotionally, he is saying that the ladies of this house are very kind souls. I have kept my body and soul together on their generosity for a whole week. I cannot believe that they would turn me away, raised his voice. Amma, Amma, oh, said his wail might be. A sad his wail might be, but it certainly wasn't feeble. It began in a deep, strong rumble somewhere in his withered belly, came booming out of his mouth with, with its few remaining teeth stained brown with beetle chewing. So, uh, he was uh, doing some kind of emotional blackmail and he was saying that the ladies of this house are so good, they cannot turn me away. And he was again started, uh, he again started crying, Amma, Amma, oh, and his teeth could be stained, uh, his teeth could be seen that his teeth was full of stained beetle, beetle chewing. He had a, a habit of chewing beetle leaves. Ravi, tell him there's nothing left in the kitchen called Rukmani and he is not up to come, he is not to come again. Tell him that. She sounded fed up. Now, Ravi didn't have to repeat because Rukmani shouted so loudly from the home that uh, the beggar could hear very well. The beggar sat up and sighed. I'll go, I'll go, he said wearily. Only let me have a rest under uh, here under the tree. The sun is so hot, the tar has melted on the road. My feet are already blistered. He stretched out his feet to show large pink peeling, peeling blisters on the sole of his bare feet. I suppose he doesn't have the money to buy chapels. Mridu whispered to Meena Ravi, Have you got an old pair in the house? So the beggar was unable to go out and he was very tired also and he wanted to rest there because the sun was so hot. The liquid, the black colored tar liquid which is used to, for making road was melted and he could get a lot of blisters and he was already having many blisters on his feet. So Mridu really felt bad and she said that does anyone have extra pair or an old pair of chapels? 
I don't know, said Ravi. Mine are too small to fit his feet or I had given them to him. And his feet were larger than Mridhu and Meena. The beggar was shaking out his upper cloth and tightening his dhoti. He raised his eyes and looked fearfully at the road, gleaming in the afternoon heat. So beggar was now ready to go from there and he was looking fearfully at the road because the road was extremely hot. He needs something on his feet, Meena said, her eyes, big eyes filling. It's not fair. Meena was totally now emotional. Her eyes were filled with water and he was saying that he needs something on his feet. Shh. I'm thinking about it, blubbering. It's not fair. It's not fair. It isn't going to help. In two minutes, he'll be frying his feet on that road. What he needs is a pair of chappals. So where do we get them? Come, let's search the house. He pushed Mridu and Meena into the house. Now Mridu, uh, Ravi got very excited and he said that now we have to think something. We cannot just keep on saying that it's not fair. We have to make up a plan. He said that in two minutes his legs will be fried. So he needs uh, his feet will be fried. Now we have to find a pair of chappals. So they both, uh, they all three went into the house to find a chapel. Just as she stepped into the veranda. Mridu's eyes, eyes fell on the odd-looking chapels she had no, noticed when she arrived. Ravi, she whispered to him, whose are those? So, she saw the chapels which were of the music master and then what happened, her eyes fell, fell on it and she thought that this could be better and she asked also Ravi, that whose are these? Ravi turned and glanced at the shabby-looking but sturdy old slippers. He beamed and nodded, these are just the right size. Ravi didn't reply whose are these, he just said this is the perfect size for the beggar. He said picking them up, Mridu and Meena followed him nervously back into the garden. So uh, they took the music master's chapel and gave to the beggar. Here said, the Ravi, said Ravi to the beggar, dropping the slippers in front of the old man, wear these and don't come back. The beggar stared at the slippers, hurriedly flung his towel over his shoulder, pushed his feet in to them and left muttering a blessing to the children. In a minute he had vanished around the corner of the street. So when Ravi gave the slippers to him he was very happy. He was he started giving lots of blessing to the children and in a minute he vanished them uh, vanished from there. The music master came out of the house and took an unappreciative look at the three of them sitting quietly under the tree playing marbles then he searched for his chapels in the veranda where he had put them. So what happened that now the music master came and he was he started searching for his chapels where he has kept. He started crying. He lully, he called after a few moments. She hurried up to him. Have you seen my chapels, my dear? I remember having kept them here. Ravi, Mridu and Meena silently watched Lully and the music master search every corner of the veranda. He scurried around looking over the railing and crouching near the flower pots to look between them. Brand new they were. I went all the way to Mount Road to buy them. He went on saying, they cost a whole month's fee, do you know? Now the music master was getting mad and he was saying that they were brand new. I went very far to buy these chapels. They cost me whole month's fee. Soon Lully went into the into her house to tell her mother Rukmani appeared, looking harassed with Pati following her. Where could they be? It's really quite upsetting to think someone might have stolen them. So many vendors come to the door, worried Pati. Rukmani caught sight of Ravi, Mridu and Meena sitting under the tree. So they were very much worried that how could someone take it and they were also guessing that many vendors, street sellers, they used to come here, they might have taken it. Then Rukmani look, look, looked at uh, what's it, Ravi, Mrida, Mridu and Meena. Have you children? She began then, seeing they were seriously, curiously quiet, went on more slowly, seen anyone lurking around the veranda. So she changed her question and seeing that so initially th she thought that they must have done something. But now she changed the question and said, have you seen anyone coming here? Lurking means coming here and waiting. Uh, in a uh, what say uh, in a suspicious manner, a sharp V-shaped line had formed between her eyebrows. Another straight, tighter one appeared in place of her usually soft, pleasant mouth. Rukmani wasn't angry. Thought Mridu with a shiver. She wouldn't be so upset if she knew about the poor beggar with sores on his feet. She tried to herself, taking a deep breath. She cried, "Rukmani, there was beggar here. Poor thing, he had such boils on his feet." Mridu couldn't control and so she said the truth that uh, we have given the chapels to a beggar and the beggar was having lots of blisters on his feet. 
children these days grown party uh now party was so angry that she said children these days amma didn't you tell me about karan who gave away everything he had he even his gold earrings he was so kind and generous so now ravi started comparing that you only told us a story that karan had given everything even his jewelries also he gave everything he was so kind and generous rukmani snapped and said that silly karan didn't give away other people's thing he only gave away his own but my chappals wouldn't have fitted the beggar's feet ravi brushed ravi rushed brashly on and amma if they didn't fit would you really not have minded now yeah, ravi is saying that uh, if i would really have given my chappals would you not mind ravi said rukmani very angry go inside this minute she hurried indoors and brought out gopu mama's hardly worn new chappal she so she brought gopu mama's chappal who gopu mama did not used to wear this chappal much these should fit you sir please put this on i am so sorry my son has been very naughty the music master's eyes lit up he put them on trying not to look too happy he was pretending not to look too happy because uh, he has got new chappals in place of very old chappals well i suppose these will have to do these days children have no respect for elders what to do on hanuman incarnate only ram can save such a naughty fellow so the music master said that these days children are very naughty they are so naughty like hanuman they are incarnate another avatar of uh, uh, hanuman <coughs> rukmani's eyes flashed she didn't seem to like ravi being called a monkey even a holy monkey she did not want any person to compare ravi with a holy monkey also she stood stiff and straight by the front door it was clear she wanted him to leave quickly when he had clattered off in his new chappals she said mridu come in have some tiffin honestly how do you children think of such things thank god your gopu mama doesn't wear his chappals to work as she walked towards the kitchen with mridu and meena she suddenly began to laugh so she is thanking god that at least gopu mama doesn't wear chappals and go to work but then she remembered and she started to laugh that but he is always in such a hurry to throw off his shoes and socks and get into his chappal as soon as he comes home then she remembered that whenever he comes back from work he removes his socks and shoes and uh, what uh, he wears the chappal to get relaxed what's your mama going to say this evening when i tell him i gave his chappal to the music master so students the story is written by vasanta surya and uh, can you imagine that uh, um, the chappals how they were gifted to each other first the chappal was gifted to the music uh, beggar and the uh, music master was gifted the ch- uh, by them uh, the chappal of gopu mama so this was a very interesting story now you can uh, solve the question answers in your copies and get it ready when the school opens we can have it checked i hope the story is clear enough have a great day